Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use the Cadence One Step Crackle Medium. Now, this is one individual bottle that's going to give you some phenomenal results with your hybrid acrylic paints. Now, this here is the Cadence One Step. Now, of course, it comes in this 70 mil casing here, and this medium has a, should I say, almost a water-like fluidity to it or a consistency, which means it's gonna go really far with your project. You're gonna be able to cover such a wide surface area with this. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you the best application and results with this particular process. So I've got here a coaster, uh, just an MDF coaster, and I've painted it with some black hybrid acrylic paint. That's now dried. You could prime any surface with any color that you want. I've chosen black because I'm gonna finish this project with the white hybrid acrylic paint. Now that means that the two products will completely contrast with one another. So firstly, I'm gonna decant some out here onto the coaster itself and give it a light shake before you do it. There's no particles in here, so it's completely self-leveled. There's no mica, there's no coloration, but a light shake will just make sure it's activated and ready for you to apply to the surface. So directly onto the mat, I've popped this straight into the center and then we're gonna use a flat brush. A flat brush is always advised to work with crackle mediums. It's gonna give you a really nice streamlined finish and it's gonna be really smooth as it sets. Now this almost has a slightly milky haze to it. So I'm going to just spread this evenly on this MDF coaster. And what I'm gonna do is put a layer down first. Here we go. Spreading that all the way around with that horizontal motion. And now that's all covered, we've got a slight shine and a glaze or a gloss to that. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And the reason for this is you want this to dry and almost look like an enamel. So it's slightly thicker all the way around, covering all of that surface and gently just stroke the medium onto the surface. Now that there is the perfect application for this. So you can see there, it literally looks like enamel. Now you want to leave this at room temperature for about 45 minutes up to an hour out of direct sunlight. Really interestingly, if you pop this in direct sunlight, it will start to crackle itself. And we don't want that to happen. We want to allow this to have its own drying time. And once it's dry, the results are phenomenal. So you're gonna set this to one side, out of direct sunlight at room temperature. And then after that time frame, this here is the result that you will get. It's not sticky, it's really smooth, but it's ready for activation. Now I'm gonna use some white hybrid acrylic for this. This is gonna give me the best result for this particular process. So with our white hybrid acrylic, this will go onto our one step and you can use the premium acrylics as well from Cadence, um, but it has been designed purely to work with acrylic paint. Now I've got my palette here and what I'm going to do is just pop some of that white hybrid in here. We want to apply it out of the area. The reason for that is we want to load up our brush thoroughly before application because the application for this one is really, really important. Now I'm taking my flat brush and loading up that paint. I'm getting a really decent amount of paint on the brush. It really wants to be heavily loaded. Almost you might be thinking you're using too much paint, but you're not because it will still stay on the brush and the crackle medium will only take off from the brush as much as it needs. So I'm gonna glide on here on the surface in the opposite direction to which we applied the glaze with and you want to do one single stroke. Going back and forth with this medium continuously will spoil the crackle effect. It will still crackle slightly but you'll not get that beautiful one step crackle result that is achieved with this. So from the edge straight across like this you're going to put it across and then start instantly the crackle will start to appear. So you can see here straight away the black, which we painted first, is starting to show through from all of those crackles. It just looks immaculate. Now we don't want to go back over that, but of course we want to finish off our coaster. So I'm gonna pick up some more paint here, and again, start from that edge and work our way across. A singular stroke, and then again, I'm gonna go in with a singular stroke just like that. Now any areas that you may have missed, I've got a little side bump there, we can go into that area because we've not yet painted it. Now I'm rotating my coaster around to make it easier because I'm just going to paint in just these few edges that we've got here. There we go, just painting those in and then that little edge that we've got in there, just finishing those off nicely. And then any paint that we've got as excess that goes around the edge of the coaster, I'm just gonna pick it up and just gently wipe that away. 
Now you can see there the crackle has already started to happen. Now over a process of 10 minutes, this crackle will continue to work. So you can see here the first section that we started with is much more defined than the end result. The thicker the paint, the bigger the crackles. The thinner the paint, the much finer and almost hairline the crackles will be. So have fun with it, experiment and play with it. But that there is how to use your Cadence one-step crackle medium from Cadence. If you want to see more from How That Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notification of all our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.